boy, what a year. I'm the only person that just spiraled during the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're they, really they, the they, only one who's gonna be like, 2020 was a great year. Hi, I'm Robin Shaw. I'm a comedian from New York City. You may have seen my goals list of 2020. Goal one, make more money. <laughs> I was, you know, been unemployed since March. Travel more. <laughs> my friend Katie Couric came up with this idea that I ask some of our pals what their goals are for 2021. Let's hope it's not as much of a fail as last year. Well, shit, it's Leslie Jordan. Did you have any 2020 goals that actually happened that came to fruition? You know what's amazing about being 65 is I've reached a place where I've pretty much done everything I set out to do, you know, especially career-wise. My goal was to earn a living as an actor. And I, it took me almost 10 years, you know, from the time I got to Hollywood to 100%, not, you know, having to wait tables or draw on employment, anything. Hello, Karen. I thought Walker, Texas Ranger got canceled years ago because of old age. So this was definitely the year of Leslie Jordan. How, what happened on Instagram? Like, how did it just start taking off? I wasn't even on Instagram and I was doing a television show for Fox called The Cool Kids and Tess Sanchez, I'd say something funny, she'd say, post it, post that. And I didn't know what, I'm telling you, I thought she meant those little yellow things. I didn't know what she meant. <laughs> the girls in her office signed me up and I called her the next day, I said, 20,000 followers. Yeah. And then about a week later, Megan Mullally from Well and Grace posted something. Money, you know, she's got a trillion, hundred billion followers. A friend called and said, honey, you've gone viral. And I said, no, I don't have it. I'm fine. I'm at my mama's. I thought he meant, <laughs> you've got <corona." laughs> I know why, why everyone fell in love with you this year is people needed to laugh. Everyone was Aww. so desperate to laugh. And you just brought in such a dark time. You just brought happiness to people that <laughs> that's what people needed. So to me, it's so obvious why you went from 80,000, by the way, 80,000 so much, but 80,000 to, to five plus million is because that's only people just desperately needed to smile. And you did that every day uh, for people. Daddy, daddy, watch me, watch me tomorrow. Daddy, daddy. Well, shit, what are y'all doing? Like I don't have enough to worry about. I read somewhere that if you do get COVID, your teeth can fall out. That's one of the side effects. The real wonderful thing is that people telling me that, stopping me and saying, you know, you helped us through a really, really hard time. And I didn't even know, I made rules, my own personal rules. I said, I'm not gonna talk about religion. I'm not gonna talk about politics and I'm not gonna go anywhere near anything controversial. I want to make people laugh. Fall on your knees. Oh, hear the angel voice. That wasn't me singing. So I know you're not big on goals, but with 2021 coming up, what are you hoping for for this year? This year, I have a wonderful series on Fox with Maya Bialik. I know, this be so good. I'm so, Listen, everyone I love in one show. Brandon, he sent me a picture of himself. Ooh, I'd hit that. <laughs> That's just something I've heard people say. I wish I hadn't tried it. And I watch it and I laugh. I laugh so hard. I mean, you know, you and Mayim have something in common, and that is that you both are so self-deprecating. It's like, you know, <laughs> you don't. And Mayim is such a klutz on the show. Here's a question that I really am curious about. All right, so you won an Emmy, and now you're Instagram famous. Which one got more guys to hit on you? Was after winning an Emmy or after becoming Instagram famous? Instagram. That's what amazes me, is how many young guys like older men with silver hair. You and, know, if they, like, if they like short older men with silver hair, the mother love. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you most excited to do in 2021, especially after quarantine? First of all, I want to be able to go to a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I just love going, I love eating out. You know, there's me just too. something wonderful about that. I want to go to restaurants and I just want, I want Call Me Cat to hit the air and I want people to love that. 
I was thinking the other day how wonderful it would be just to have a job, you know, just to know, oh my gosh, they're going to pick us up past 13 and I have a job next year. And how wonderful just to go to work, like get up and go to work. Thank you for bringing so much happiness to everyone. This Thank you, honey. You've got a big, you've got a big future ahead of you. Get ready.